the second property of the XML HTTP request object you should be familiar with is the status property. The first property was the ready state property. The second property we're going to be using is the status property. And now that you've been introduced to the XML HTTP request object, you should get to know the status property as well. We're going to be using it in our AJAX applications. As you can see here, for example, in this line where we say that the XML HTTP request object's status property equal a value of 200. So that's the value we're going to be looking for. And what other properties, what other property values are possible? Here's a list of the possible values for the XML HTTP request object status property. As you saw, a status value of 200 means that everything's okay. The download worked fine. The data was in good form. And that's the value we'll be looking for, the status property to hold. A value of 200 means that the data is okay. There are some other property, there are other property values you can see here. And for example, you might be familiar with the status value of 404, 404. If you've ever tried, tried to take a look on a website for a page that doesn't exist, it might tell you that it's not found. And you might see the status value of 404. It's a famous one in HTML, HTTP programming. And you can also get value of 206, which means only partial content was downloaded. And 403 means forbidden, you're not, or 401 means you're not authorized, you have not logged in to see the appropriate website. 403 means that you're forbidden in any event to see the data, the web data. And you have also 500 is another one you may have encountered in your browsing of the internet. This is an internal server error. If you see a value of 500 in the web page, it's been an internal server error. And there are other values here as, as well, as you can see. Value of 408 for the status property means the request timed out. So your request for data timed out, and the server did not respond in an appropriate amount of time. And there was, so that's an error. And there are other, other ones as well here. Bad request, for example, is status value 400. In this course, the only value that's going to be acceptable to us is a status value of 200, which means that everything is OK. So we're going to require that the XML HTTP request object status property hold a value of 200, and a, the ready state property of the XML HTTP request object hold a value of 4 in order to be sure that our data has been downloaded properly. So now that you've been introduced to the XML HTTP request object and the two properties that are associated with this object, the ready state property and the status property, we're ready to move on and to start working with the actual programming involved with the H XML HTTP request object in order to support AJAX in our web applications.